flexible. Mm -hmm. And in fact, in this particular instance, um, it looks uh, it looks kind of pale and yellow. I'm going to go ahead and cut it like a butter knife. So it actually cuts pretty easily. And you can see there it's pretty shiny on the inside. If you leave it out long enough, it's going to go through a process, and I'll repeat this, you hear this with the other group, it goes through a process called oxidation, which causes it to kind of become dull very quick because it does react with water, but it also reacts with air. Well, there's water in the, and there's moisture in the atmosphere. There's water vapor, but not enough. It's more the, uh, the atmosphere itself that's causing the issue. So what I did was I, I got a beaker of warm water. Warm water actually makes the process a little more aggressive, if you will. So once, uh, once I put it in water, you'll see uh, a lot of gas and vapor and whatnot. We'll talk about what that is here in a minute. Yes, Michael, quickly. What were to happen if you spit on it? It would probably burst into flame. That would be a very bad idea. Can I, can I dry it? I mean, I We've been talking a lot about the group one alkali metals. Uh, this is a process called uh, fast oxidation. You may have seen it at home when your parents have uh, like china that they put in a china hutch. Sometimes over a couple months, you'll start to see kind of almost like a greasy black substance form on it. That's a chemical reaction. It's the same thing that's taking place here, just dramatically much, much faster. Uh, in terms of what we've talked about, you know that group ones react very violently in water. They actually react with oxygen just at a slower rate. What they're trying to do, kids, is they're trying to give up the one free electron, right? Because nature likes stability, nature likes balance. So if I can get rid of that one electron, I'm stable. My outer shell has been full, I'm inert. The water, on the other hand, is in group six because it's made out of hydrogen and oxygen. The oxygen has six electrons. It's more than willing, more than happy to gain two electrons from this. The, the, so that com kind of combines with the oxygen, but what you'll see is a lot of what looks like steam or vapor. It's not, it's hydrogen gas. So the hydrogen gas is actually being expelled from the liquid and it's gonna be, um, you're gonna see a quick little fire. It's gonna go very, very fast, like I was telling my group. Part of you would be like, oh wow, that didn't take long at all. That wasn't very big. The other part would be like, hey, that was a pretty explosive reaction for literally a millisecond. Okay, uh, I've got a pretty good piece of sodium that I'm going to put in it. Okay, um, obviously if I had potassium or the reaction's going to be much, much more violent than what you're going to see today. Okay, don't breathe this. Yeah, don't breathe this. Here's your uh, clout. Oh, You're welcome. Scrumptious. <laughs> I really want to shoot myself. You won't do that. Are you pitching people's faces? I hit my face. <laughs> I never said that. Is she vlogging? Hey, hey, uh, oh, the lighting is something else. It's why well, uh, I'm me on Snapchat. Hi. Nobody likes me. I already knew that. Yeah. <laughs> 